In this question, we need to ask the user to enter a pin code that contains the numbers 1, 2, and 3, and that's all. So they cannot enter any other number other than these in this pin code. Now, a pin code could be a is going to be a string because it can possibly start from zero. But anything that can possibly start from zero is going to be a string. But because we're going to be looping through it, we're going to keep it as a string. So firstly, it says if the code is valid, then display pin code accepted. Otherwise, we need to repeat the question. So because this is repeat the question, we're going to start a while loop. To start a while loop, we're going to set repeat to true. And then we say while repeat is equal to true. This will start our while loop. Now, once we started our while loop, we set repeat straight away to false. Now, this will make more sense in a moment. So we'll set it to false, which means if it reaches the end without the repeat being set back to true, then the while loop will break. But if it doesn't get set to true, then, well, if it gets set to true, it will not break. If it gets, uh, if it doesn't get set to true, then it will break. So now we ask them for a pin code. So we say, enter a pin code. Then, because this is like a string, we can loop through a string. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through that string. So for x in range from zero to the length of code. So we're gonna loop from the, we're gonna loop through the string from the first item of the string up to the length of the string, which is up to the final item in the string. And once we've done that, we need to check. So we need to create an if statement. So if code x, x will start from zero. So if the first number in the code is not equal to one, and the first number in the code is not equal to two, and the third number is not equal to three, well, and uh, that number is not equal to three, then it will, we need to set repeat to true, which means we don't want to break out of the loop because this, because we set repeat to false at the top, if it goes all the way, if it doesn't enter this if statement and doesn't set repeat to true, the while loop will break. But because we set repeat to true, it means one of these conditions was not met. So because that number was not one and it was not two and it also wasn't three, so it wasn't any of them, then it got set to true. Because it set got set to true, it means the while loop will repeat. It will not break. Finally, we need to print pin code accepted, which will mean the while loop has been exited and the uh, correct code has been entered. So if I enter random numbers, it will not work, but if I only enter, let's say, one, twos, and three, it will say pin code accepted.